Matthew Perry died in what way? What his toxicology reports investigators found? Following his untimely demise, followers of Friends and other shows are curious about the same thing. How did Matthew Perry pass away? Since the beloved sitcom star was only 54 years old, many people are curious as to how he passed away. We will reveal all of the solutions we currently know in the future. Actor John Bennett Perry and former Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau's press secretary Susan Marie Langford reared Matthew Perry, who was born in 1969. After his parents separated when he was only a year old, he spent his early years alternating between Montreal and Los Angeles. Perry started his career in entertainment as a young actor. He made the decision to move to Los Angeles at the age of 15 to try his hand at acting, following in his father's footsteps. After landing a part in the sitcom Second Chance, Perry went on to land roles in shows like Beverly Hills 90210 and Charles in Charge. He co-starred with the late River Phoenix in the movie A Night and the Life of Jimmy Reardon, which marked his big screen debut by 1988. However, Perry's rise to fame was largely fueled by his portrayal of Chandler Bing in the venerable sitcom Friends. The 1994 NBC television series, which followed six single New Yorkers as they navigated the challenges of adulthood, quickly gained widespread recognition. Perry, who was just 25 years old when the show debuted, along with David Schwimmer, Jennifer Aniston, Kurt Annie Cox, Lisa Kudrow, and Matt LeBlanc, all became well-known almost immediately. The Friends cast members each received a salary of more than $1 million per episode by the time the series concluded, and the finale episode pulled in over 50 million live viewers. Perry was a vital member of the Friends cast as Chandler Bing, the witty roommate of LeBlanc's Joey Tribune and the eventual love interest of Cox's Monica Jeller. Chandler's place in pop culture was cemented by his distinct delivery and dry humor, which left behind catchphrases and moments that fans still find endearing. Is there anyone more ideal for the part than him? In addition to his 10 seasons on Friends, Perry's acting credits also included roles in the romantic comedy Fool's Rush In, which starred Salma Hayek, Bruce Willis and Amanda Peet in The Whole Nine Yards, and The West Wing and Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, both directed by Aaron Sorkin. Perry published a memoir in 2022 titled Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, a memoir in which he discussed his battles with alcohol and drug addiction and his ascent to stardom. In the book, he described a near-death encounter he had at age 49 due to an opioid overdose that caused his colon to burst. The actor was in the hospital for five months recovering after being in a coma for two weeks. We're digging into the specifics of Matthew Perry's tragic death as the world remembers him. Continue reading below to learn everything we know about Matthew Perry's cause of death and manner of passing away.